Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you my machine to set someone's hunger. Because in vanilla there's no easy way to set someone's hunger. You can change someone's hunger by using either the saturation or the hunger effect. So if you would use saturation, when you do the one zero, it will heal for a half a meat skull and two saturation, which is on the right. And if you do it for one, it will heal for double that. Heal for two, it will do triple that. So it's quite easy to uh, use saturation to increase someone's hunger. Um, but decreasing it uh, with hunger effect is actually a little bit more difficult because if you do it for one second and put it on seven, it will decrease by one but first it will take the saturation, as you can see on the right. So if you would uh, multiply this, uh, it's actually 8 because it starts at 0. So if you would do, say, 127 quite quickly, my saturation goes to 0 and my food goes to 5 and a half. Now I've made a way to use an objective. so. It's called set hunger, and if we set it to because it's in total it's 20 hunger, so set it to say 16, you will see it's set to 16 immediately. And lowering it also works, of course. Setting it to 10, it will go down to 5 hearts. Now, there is a problem which is if you would have um, some food, say cooked chicken, so and you eat it, you can see on the right the saturation still says it's zero and when you do the set hunger to 10 again it actually doesn't decrease it down to 10. Um, this is because the saturation level is actually a float and not an integer and in order to actually know, uh, to record how that works I would have to have at least five times the amount of command blocks. So I decided not to do that. Um, but you can just do it again. And once the saturation is down to zero, it works again. And one last time, and it's down to 10. And now it works again to setting it to either 1 or 19. Everything works again. So because the, uh, the saturation level is a float, it doesn't work perfectly. Okay, now I've put this into a one command, so let's just go to game mode one. Um, so I've used a filter which is made by, um, I'll have to paste in the command. The filter made by, as you can see, Gentle Giant and Xaphonis. And using that, I made it into this sort of compact structure. And you can just use that to easily copy it into your world. You can find links to the command and for the filter in the description of the video. And thanks for watching. 